In this video, I'm going to show you exactly the same thing that I did that got me my own Amazon SEE account that I'm currently using for my business. Now, I've been using my own Amazon SEE for the past two years right now. I'm going to show you how to get Amazon SEE faster in 2025. If you are an online business owner or you do more of marketing or you are an email marketer in a company, you are going to learn how to get this thing up and running. Most people get into problems when they are trying to apply for Amazon SAE to approve the account. But by following this video and the things I'm going to share with you guys, you are going to learn the exact same thing I did and tried that got me my own first Amazon SAE account. And in case you try these things and it did not work for you, don't worry. Just message me. I'm going to drop my contact so that you can message me on Telegram and I'm going to help you to run it up. But remember, I charge $300 for this service. So it's not going to really be an, a free, completely free service. So I'm going to charge you $300 to get this thing up and running. If you try this same method in this video and it did not work for you, just message me on Telegram. I'll help you. With just $300, your account is going to be ready. So back to this video. Before we go deeply inside this video, I would like to explain some certain things to you on why you need it. If you do more of email marketing, communicating with your customers, your audience, your subscribers, maybe your social media engagement, you are trying to get contact people, make people to be your subscribers, it's best that you use email marketing. Now, interacting with your customers, your subscribers, your audience through emails shows that you really know what you are doing on the online business part. And also, having your own email list is so important than having your, maybe probably your social media account because your account can get suspended and you lose that audience. But when you build your email list, it's going to be very, very simple for you to actually get this thing up and running because anytime maybe your server got maybe trying to expire, you can export your email list back and buy a new server. I'm going to link two of my videos that I did about how to set up your own email marketing application using MailWiz and Sendy. So these videos, I'm going to link inside the description of this video. So let's now get into the video of today. What is Amazon SAE? It means Amazon Simple Email Services. And it's a cloud-based email sending service provided by Amazon Web Services, the popular one you know, which is the AWX. It allows you, you as a user, to send marketing emails, notification emails, and transactional emails to your subscribers and also to your users. Whether you have a website or you have an email leaks or you have your audience online, it allows you to send marketing emails, maybe a sending event notifications to them or sending transactional emails to your customers. So this is very simple to really understand. This service is provided by Amazon on their own. When they provide this service to you, they are making it available for you to send emails to your subscribers. So instead of you to be spending a lot of money on GetResponse or Aweber, using this service is going to be so, so super cheap that you will want to even stop using other services. Trust me, for the past two years right now, I have not been using MailWix or any maybe Floodesk or SendGrid, anyone, I have not been using them. I only use Amazon SEE my email services. Now let's now get into the details of what to do to get your own SEE account ready. Understanding the Amazon SEE sandbox. You see, when you register as a user, by default, your account is placed in the sandbox environment. In the sandbox environment, you can only send emails to verify email addresses or domains with a limit of 200 emails per 24 hours period. This simply means that if you have 400 email subscribers, you can only send 200 out of that 400. So you have to wait the next day to actually send the remaining 200. But when you get the access to the production, you can send up to 50,000 emails per day. Currently, my account is standing at 200,000 emails quota per day. So because I've been using it for a long time and my email list have grown to over 200 and something thousand email subscribers. So on your own, once they approve it, it's going to be on 50,000 email subscribers. On your own, once they approve your account, they are going to place it on the 50,000 email quota. That's your daily quota every single day. But on my own now, it's now on to 200,000 and 250,000. All right. Step to request the production sex. These steps are very simple. You know, if when you register, what you need to just do is to verify your domain. You go to the identity part 
right once you open the SCE application and you submit access to production firstly you need to go to the identity of your SCE dashboard you verify a domain name and email addresses that you want to use to send emails now before requesting the production access make sure that these things are verified this domain name it can be any extension right you must verify at least one domain or an email address so these things are going to be done inside the console that you are using to work on now this proof ownership right and is one of the crucial parts of your application to be considered if you don't do this one your account is not going to be approved right then next one is preparing for review you see when you are trying to prepare for review there are some certain things you need to put into considerations and if you do these things it's going to work out for you the content that you're going to even submit to amazon for them to review it consider your application matters a lot don't just go and copy maybe a dump content from ChatGPT or all this ai generated content and you submit it like that they will know that this is an ai content so as a human being you need to read it change the grammars change the english to look for where to use simple english so that they understand what you are trying to communicate with them remember your email you are sending to subscribers is supposed to be very very simple to read and understood so the same thing here if you are trying to send amazon request for them to approve your account use simple english this process might take up to 25 hours for an initial response right because once you send the person asset they're going to send you another respond for you to reply with why do you want them to approve you or consider you but in case that additional information is needed it could take very very longer most times i've seen one of my clients that i worked on it takes so it took us up to one month to get the account to be approved because there was so many questions that the amazon team was requesting from us so you have to be submitting right the next thing is if your application is denied you can appeal the application it's very possible so if you request for production assets and they decline it or deny the assets you can appeal it and they will accept it so how do you now appeal that's the most important thing if your request is denied you can appeal by providing more detailed information or addressing any concern the amazon team might have raised you see most times if you submit this thing they will tell you why they don't want to accept your production assets mostly the most popular one is is going to disturb their assets to other users it's mostly like that so what you're going to now do is you read these things you understand why this guy don't want you to use their services do not appeal that this is exactly what your business stands for this is what you do in your business and once you do this thing you can use ai to generate this response right the same email they sent to you copy it and go to any of these ai content writers then generate a response from ai copy it out and edit that response to suit your perspective right make sure that that content is copied from chat make sure that you edit that content you proofread it and you use simple english and you submit this thing back to amazon that mean you are appealing back this might include providing your website credibility refining your email strategies most time they even ask you to submit sample of the email you are using what i normally do most time is i have an email i have been sending to people i'll just copy a copy of that email i'll use it as an example so on your own you might have received some emails from big time marketers you can copy that email change some certain things add a little content in those email and resubmit it back so make sure that the email you are using you are aligning together with email best practices the next one is post approval adjustments one thing is to request for production sex and one thing is to be accepted into the program once you are approved please i beg you in the name of god your sending limit will increase to 50000 daily quota but you start with lower limits that can gradually be expanded based on your sending practices and reputation. There are people that will send up to 50,000 emails in that single day. Amazon will suspect that you are sending spam messages because they just approve your account. Your account is still early stage. So they are monitoring every activity that you are using that account for. So don't just rush in and start creating or sending emails every single minute they will suspect it and they are going to suspend the account or they are going to temporarily ban it or put it on limit or hold till you appeal back then they are going to approve it 
if you have up to 10,000 emails, send like 5,000 today. Tomorrow, send like 8,000. Next tomorrow, send like 12. From so doing, you are now going to be sending like 20,000 every single day. The system will notice that you are actually sending quality emails and you're following email best practices. You don't want to abuse the SNTP. You don't want to abuse the Amazon server because their system is monitoring your accounts. Even they are monitoring the email you are sending. The next one I'm going to do here is key considerations. You see, one thing that people don't know is that when you are sending emails, Amazon even read those emails. So they know the content you are using for your email. The things you write in the content, those email copies, they know. They read it. Most times they will dictate some words, some key or some tags, some keywords in your content that the system will automatically reject and they will ban the account. So make sure that anything you are trying to send, your content you are trying to send to people is very, very simple. And it doesn't contain keywords that might trigger Amazon to suspend the account. Also for security measures, you need to detail how you protect SCE credentials right and manage data security one thing is to get people's emails and one thing is to maintain that email so if you don't know how to maintain people's email you're going to lose your access to amazon see and it's a big time problem if you lose your access to this see account for you to get it back you need to fight it so coming down here like i said before amazon watches your account every single minute every single second so amazon looks for assurance that your email practices will negatively impact their sender reputations. You don't want to mess up this thing up. You don't want to mix the system up. So you want to maintain high level of reputations in your own account. Maybe you're using Mailwix, you're using Sendy. Make sure that your account and also what you're sending, people are reading your emails and they are not reporting your email as spam. The key thing here is if your account was denied the only thing you have to just do is check your sending practices then reassess your application based on the feedback these guys are providing for you maybe you are using big grammar to apply for them to approve your account but this time make sure you're using simple english so that is all that you need to just do and i believe that this video blesses you so guys that is the end of this video and in this part right now if you really got value from this video all you need to just do for me is to like this video you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you turn on the notification bell so that anytime I drop a new video like this, maybe in the future, you're going to get a notification that another video is available. That's it, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.